Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today we're going to make another one of our fairies from our fairy series, Fawn. And the colours that I'm going to be using are Rainbow Loom Brown. I'm going to be using a skin tone colour. I'm going to be using Caramel. I'm going to be using the Sweets Collection and um, it's the, the orangey colour. It's the Pastel, Fairy Pastel Orange for her tunic. I'm using a couple of green for her hair couple of dark brown for her belt and uh, I'm using the 7mm by 4mm mini pony beads for her eyes. Okay, now I have a separate tutorial on how to do the fairy wings which I've done with glitter white and I've tipped with the uh, fairy orange, the, uh, the, the orange from the sweet collection, the, the pastel orange and I've also got a separate tutorial on how to do the standing up skirt and as you can see I've tipped it with the orange and then I have the glitter white and then the orange all the way to the top so you will be making those using the other tutorials because otherwise this tutorial is going to get extremely long so all we're doing today is making the little doll and you can make the wings and the dress on your own we're going to start with a single loom in the offset configuration, which means columns one and three are slightly lower than column two. The arrow is facing towards us, or the open part of the peg, if you don't have an arrow, is facing towards us. We're going to be double banding. Double banding means you take two bands and you place them together on the pegs as if they were one, like this. All right, so let's place these we're going to be doing the back of her hair first. Oops. mentioned these are the rainbow loom brown push them down I'm going to put a skin tone one here as an end cap just a single so put it on your hook and wrap it once and twice and we're going to pop that just here on the end like that we're going to put a crossover band here so take a single and stretch it between those three pegs. That ties these three columns in together so they don't just become separate entities. Now we're going to put her ponytail, as you can see I've got a ponytail here, we're going to put her ponytail at the back of her head. I've got an end cap and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine pair. So let's make that. We're going to do an end cap with a single wrap it once and twice and then we need nine pair so slide the end cap onto your first pair your second pair goes on the end of the hook and you slide that over reclaim the end of your bands slide over and reclaim so that's three four five six, seven, eight, and nine. Let me get rid of these other bands so I don't throw them all over the office. All right, now we want this to be at the back of her head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the top part of these two bands that are in the middle off and I'm going to slide this on like that and I'm going to replace those two bands. Now at this stage you can see that that's at the front of her head. You want to poke this down through those gaps on your loom. Okay, 
and it's going to be at the back of her head. So just get it so that you can maybe pull. Here we go, like that. So that when we loop it up, this part will be at the back of her head. Okay. All right, we're going to put a crossover band on top of that, like that, to keep all that bit in. Let's loop up this front bit, go down past the skin tone and grab the two brown bands and loop up. Then you're grabbing the two top brown bands and just the top ones, don't, don't get any more. Loop to the side, the same for the other side and the same for the middle. Now we need to loop up one pair this side one pair this side and the center one and then push everything down you're not going to loop up to the top here the reason we don't is we want to catch the face into that so that's we leave that open like that that's all we actually need for her hair other than two bands which i'm going to put to one side up the top here to tie off that so i'm going to move my brown bands out the way so now we're going to do her face I'm using skin tone bands and I'm going to place them in pairs so I've got double banding still and I'm starting here I'm not starting at the very top and the reason being is she's got hair at the very top Oh my goodness, I'm being a fumble finger. <laughs> and the reason being, because I need to push things down. There we go. Give me a bit more room. So, I'm going to put two bands here for the neck. I don't like the bands to be sort of twisted on each other. So if they are, just run your hook around on the inside and they usually will sort themselves out. I'm going to put a single as a crossover band between those three pegs and then for here the first thing we're going to do is take a single band and twist it three times once twice and three times and place between these two pegs and they're the pegs we're going to do the eyes at the reason we're doing that is so that the eyes don't fall to the back of the head now for the eyes I'm using black beads you don't have to you can use bands the band for an eye is a single band placed on your hook and you wrap it once, twice, three times and four times. One band equals one bead. So if you're doing obviously two eyes, you would do two of those. And when I tell you that you, you're sliding them onto a skin tone band, you slide those bands that you've just wrapped four times onto a skin tone band like I've just done with the beads. Place them over those two pegs like that you sh you stretch out where you want your beads or your bands to be either side of the uh, middle band here and then you take this part of the band and loop it up over this peg and that forms your crossover band okay so if we have a look at fawn now we've got her face we need to do some shoulders we're going to use two oh before we do that Let's grab these. You see we have two layers here. We've got the two neck bands, but we've got the end cap here that's in skin tone as well. Put your hook through the inside of it here, so you're pushing from the inside to the out, and move it up and over on top of the neck like that. That's really important because if you don't do that, the neck doesn't tie into the back of the hair. So now let's take our two bands and place for the shoulders. and two down to the chest now we're going to be using the orange the pastel orange again with double banding Now because she's wearing a tunic and then leggings, I will actually make the tunic a bit longer. Normally for the torso, we will do four. So as you can see, I've got one, two, three, 
and then we have four here. I believe we've still got four. Let me check. One, two, three, and four. So we do still have four. That's okay. I think we've come down a bit lower here. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So normally I would go one, two, three, and four and then I would start pants but because she's wearing a tunic and I want the tunic to be you know longer I'm going to put the extra pair here instead of that being a, for the pants instead of that being um, caramel I'm going to make it so that it's the same color as the tunic now I'm using the caramel bands to do her pants and I'm going down two pair either side And then I'm going to do two skin tone because she is only wearing capris. And then I will be doing her little shoes. Before I do the shoes, I'm going to take two of the pastel and I'm going to go from the center out and from the center out the other way and we need to put an end cap right here in the middle so take a single band and wrap it once and twice that pops on here in the middle like that okay now let's do her shoes and get those out of the way two caramel bands on your hook wrap once and twice and you're sliding onto two caramel bands slide into the middle and then reclaim the end of your bands. Take another two caramel bands, wrap, whoopsie, wrap once and twice, and then take these two bands up and over so that the wrapped bands are in the middle. You're going to take two skin tone and slide these on. I like to do the first two first, then the wrapped bands, and then the last two. Reclaim the end of your bands and angle the foot and pop that on the end here. All right, let's do the same for the other side. Two caramel, wrap once and twice. Slide onto two caramel and reclaim the end. Two caramel, wrap once and twice. Move these over the top like so and then take two skin tone and slide over angle the foot after you've reclaimed the end and it pops on here okay we've done our legs we have, as you can see, I've got a little bit of skirt that's sort of puffed out here and I've done it a little bit differently it, it's very easy when you're doing one of these to do an extension to take a single band wrap it once and twice like an end cap and then you take two extra bands to pair and then you take another pair and this is how you do a skirt extension or we have done up till now and you put the ends here and then you put the end cap here but when you do that it's all bunched up to the middle here and you're sort of not capturing this so I've done this a little bit differently where I've tried to make it so that the puffy bit of the skirt goes either side of the leg so that it looks less bulky and a little bit more streamlined so we're going to give that a go and see how we how we fare with that Let's undo that and put our crossover bands on first. I'm going to take a single and stretch that across here. I'm going to take a single, I'm going to put my hook through it and do a figure eight like that. And I'm going to stretch this between these three pegs. And the reason I stretched it with my hook is because it hurts your fingers. So <laughs> figure eight pop it on the first peg, stretch it to the second 
and pull it across to the third. It doesn't hurt your fingers as much. And then for this top one, we again just do a single. The reason we double these is to draw her waist in to give her a bit of a waist. Okay. Now we need arms. So take a single skin tone, wrap it round once and twice as an end cap, and we slide it onto five pair. So there's our first pair, our second pair, reclaim the end, our third pair, our fourth pair, and our last pair, number five like that and we're going to pop that on her shoulder here let's do the same for the other side take a single wrap it once and twice slide onto a pair that's number one number two number three number four and number five. Reclaim the end and we pop that on the other shoulder here. Okie dokie. Now we have some dark brown that we're going to be using um, as her um, belt. So I'm going to get those ready. And I'm going to place them even though I know that I'm going to have to take the crossover bands off to put them back. That's fine, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to undo that crossover band and that I'm just going to leave this in the middle here. Two brown bands. Do a figure eight on your hook and place on the peg. Push everything down so that you've got room, okay? Again, two brown bands. Do a figure eight and place on the hook, a peg. The reason I'm not just taking one and stretching it and doing a figure eight is I don't want it to become misshapen. I want it to stay as sort of tight as possible. And if I use my fingers, I know I'm just going to, I'm going to take the crossover band off. I'm just going to stretch it out of shape too badly. So my three crossover bands are here, all right, for her belt. Now, we will need some of the sweet bands as we get to this area here, all right? But we're going to start looping first. So dig down past your shoes and loop up your first skin tone pair on either side. Loop up to the capris. Now, this is where the fun and games happen. <laughs> You're going to loop here the capris. Push things down. You're going to get two of the same colour that you're using for her tunic. And I want it to go between all of these. Okay. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to dig down, I'm going to grab these two bands, okay, for there, and there. I'm going to dig down and grab the middle pair, so that's all looped in. And now we're going to take those two bands and we're going to push our hook down through here, as if we were doing a tie-off out the corner here. Grab the two bands, okay, and gently pull back up through the peg. Now normally we'd go to the back of the peg when we do a tie-off. We're not. Stay here on the side. I'm just trying to get them even. So once you have them even on the side here, you're going to take another pair and you're going to slide those on. Like that. Okay. Now, for mine, I did just the 
extra pair and one okay and then I stretched it so I've got this one and one and then I stretched it and put it up here on this peg like that okay so we'll do the same on the other side turn your loom around you're going down through here past all those bands put the two on your hook oops both of them there we go drag them back through so that they're on the side here like that try and make sure that they're even take another pair drag through reclaim the end now what I'm going to do I want to keep I'm going to keep these two off to one side for a second okay because what I'm going to do is hold them in my hand dig down find the two bands and loop them up now don't worry that this has come off it doesn't really matter because I already have the band looped up I will place it back on the hook peg thingamajig technical term there okay. there we go so loop this band up and you're going to grab the, the um, pair that you had on your hook that you're holding out to the side and we'll place that on top if I can <laughs> like that okay do the same this side I'm going to take those four loops off hold them out to one side dig down find the two orange loop up put those four loops back on okay so as we come down here now we loop these up to the belt and up to the belt like that okay now we still have to put our crossover band here so I'm going to put that there ready so I don't forget what we're going to do as you can see we've got these two bands and these two bands of the loop but we've got our belt in the middle we need to go under grab the brown bands only and pull them to the back of the peg and pull forward like that and that is how we do the belt again come under grab the brown bands go to the back of the peg and pull forward all right twist it around a bit so that it, it becomes even let's loop up the center here loop up the center because we need to come under here now this is a tricky one because you don't have great access so grab the brown bands and pull forward and as you can see it captures the uh, the two bands the two loops now we need to put our crossover band back and remember we had it looped on itself like that so it's a tight one so loop it on your hook and then hold it with your fingers you're going to take the first two bands the loops off the peg and place the crossover band there okay hold this out to one side and I'm just going to drag I'm going to grab the bat I'm going to grab the crossover band with my hook all right like that and I'm going to place those bands back hold that crossover band with your fingers and take the next two loops off and drag across and replace then you're doing the last pair lift them up hold them to one side now here you need to go under this band here grab those two loops for the one band if you can <laughs> and stretch it across 
it's tight okay and then replace the bands now we can loop up like normal loop up to the arms on either side I'm going to dig down for the two skin tone loop to the throat the other two skin tone and loop to the throat and then from the chest to the throat once we're here we're digging down and grabbing the two skin tone and pulling them up now we're going for the two top skin tone take them to one side the next two go to the other side and the bottom two and you have to be careful that you're not getting that crossover the um, end cap I'm sorry um, you need to make sure that you're just getting the two that loop up the center and it can be tricky so just dig around until you find both of them loop up the center you're just looking for the two skin tone bands here and I don't like that that's twisted so I'm going to just do it again that's better two skin tone I've got the brown as well by mistake then and again <laughs> even if you do it one at a time it doesn't matter push those crossover bands back with the back of your hook so that you can only get the skin tone there we are dig down we're looping up the two brown ones this time push the crossovers back you're just going for two bottom brown bands now this is where we're going to use our two tie off bands pop your hook through past all of those bands out to the side and pop those two brown bands on your hook drag them back through and up to the back side of the peg take the closest to you up over off and pull tight we're going to take her off the loom I use the back of a hook a metal hook to help me so that I don't end up putting undue pressure on the bands and having a breakage it also helps when you have the tighter looped bands to use a hook or the back of a hook to help into shape here's her skirt so as you can see it's captured either side of her leg now and I think that gives a better look pull the arms out and down out and down it gives her the shoulders that she needs here's her little head now her ponytail is at the back here now the ponytail actually is wrapped with green but what I thought we'd do first is just use the bands that we tied off with move them down through some of the bands at the back of her head and just pop her ponytail through and we can kind of disguise the uh, the tie off bands that way like that and then taking our green bands and stretch it a couple of times like that and pop through I didn't do a very good job with that did I? might have been easier if I just twisted it <laughs> so pop the green tie off like that and then with this one I'm going to go under the green bands grab the end with the new band like that and basically I'm just going to tie a knot 
so that it's a little bow at the top of her head like so so here is fawn now if you have made the wings already when you position them on her back the two longest side go up the top and the bottom ones which are the shorter ones go at the bottom you're going to look at the back of her neck here and on her back you're going to see two bands here and two bands here so go through the first set like that two bands grab one side of the tie off bands and pull and drop everything <laughs> and pull that and drop everything again pull that through splay it open and pop the wing through and then on the other side we're going to do the same thing go through those other two skin tone bands grab the tie off drag it through splay open and pop the wing through and there you have her wings on her and her hair will settle down a bit after it's relaxed pull her face into shape for the skirt as I said there's a tutorial on how to make that and uh, you use a spoon to just pop her in you have to make her hips her little dress squeeze that in together and pop her into her little standing dress and there you have fawn I really hope you enjoy making her take care